Yep. So good. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, test riding yesterday and it developed a massive oil leak from the clutch side case here. Just the gasket just blew out. Yeah, pull it apart, new gaskets, and um, go back in and see if we can get it running better. Your uh, engine spacer there is the perfect height. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I already did the other side, just took it off, cleaned it up, put a new gasket on. There was nothing else to be done on that side. Um, this side, this is the stator side. This right here is the stator. It's what generates the electricity in the engine. In my research online, people were saying that if the pickup, which is this, is covered in too many metal filings, it can mess with the spark. And I don't know what too many is, but there definitely are some on there. I'll do my best to clean off all the metal off of there, and then we'll put it back together and see if it runs any different. Yeah! <laughs> Aza took us up on being the second guest driver. Looks like he's having fun already. Guys, we're gonna take a quick break from the Jeep to talk about the sponsor for this video, Express VPN. Now, first thing, why are VPNs important? Well, they protect your privacy while you're browsing the internet, and most of all, they protect your credit card information when you're shopping online. Now, I've had my credit card information stolen twice before using Express VPN, so I do honestly recommend it. Express VPN is the best because it has the fastest speeds, consistently faster than other VPN providers. They have server locations in 94 countries giving you plenty of options to choose from. They have apps for every single device you could imagine. It's easy to use and you can connect with just one click. And they gave us a special deal for you guys. So if you go to expressvpn.com ghpc, the link is in the description, you will get three months free. All right, let's get back to building. Let's see what's in this giant box. Mail time came a little more early than I thought. Oh, wow, that's excessive. One tire. <laughs> <laughs> wow, -wee. we couldn't find the exact same one. So it's the same style, just black instead of oh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. silver. Which I think will look sweet as the spare. Was that first try? Yeah. 
Wow. He's better at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's done. Can't believe you got it first try. Yeah. Nice. That looks fresh. One thing that feeling you get when you suddenly know everything. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, it wheelies in first gear now. <laughs> Spare tire on there. <laughs> Did you just land on your shoulder? Yeah, it was fine. Man, the wheelies. First gear wheelies are so much better. Before I was having to wheelie in second gear. Uh huh. And it was just too much clutch drop and then too much speed. Being able yeah. to just clutch drop in first gear, I was able to hold it better. All right. Today's a new day. Yeah, did a bunch of testing yesterday and uh, sending and rallying and um, all the suspension and drivetrain works out great. The engine's still not running right, but um, there's not a lot I can do about that without ordering some parts. So I'm gonna work on the controls because the brake does absolutely nothing. Um, this master cylinder is just, it's designed for like a foot, foot pedal brake where you can have more throw and more force because you're using your foot. I hooked it up with this cable, which it just doesn't have enough throw for that master cylinder. So I'll re-look at that today. I might do a different type of hand control. I'm gonna look at other master cylinders I have laying around. much consideration I'm basically starting from scratch with all of the controls um, the brake I'm gonna do first um, and then the throttle is gonna be totally different and so is the clutch I went out and stole the master cylinder off of the CRF 450 that the engine came from and I came up with a mounting system here I made a little notch in the tip of the steering wheel there it fits right there because that bolt goes through this bracket, through the steering wheel, through the bracket underneath, through the nut, and then I drilled into the aluminum of the casing here and tapped it. So it goes straight through into the casing. Sweet. And then even if you just had this lever, it'd be better than the brake we had before. But obviously I'm gonna make a different lever. up so it's all discolored because <laughs> it's stainless steel so it won't rust and um, then just gotta put that in there wow that is legit and despite the fact that it's like less than 16th of an inch thick steel it actually bends the steering wheel before it bends the brake lever <laughs> great because I just like formed it a little bit, so it's cupped all around there, and then reinforced it with these little gussets there. Very cool. 